Hello YouTube and welcome. In this video I'll be explaining the multiple long-term data retention solutions that Microsoft have available for Azure Sentinel. So grab your coffee or your whiskey because this one's going to get long and it's going to get juicy. As in long, like long-term data retention, long as no one work. Having long-term retention for your security data is essential depending on your organization and policies, your data might need to be kept upwards of 10 years. So what do I do with my data for long-term retention? This is a question I get asked regularly by customers when first interacting with Sentinel. So there are multiple ways, or as my dad used to say, there's more than one way to skin a cat to solutionize long-term data retention. Now, Microsoft have kindly made it extremely easy to export your data from log analytics to various storage solutions. So I'll be covering the three main storage solutions here, uh, including some pros and cons. So for the purpose of this video, let's assume that you already know what Azure Sentinel is and log analytics is. So this is kind of your option one. So the pros for option one is a full seam saw capabilities with all incident management, analytics, threat hunting, user entity behavior analytics, machine learning and workbooks, etc. So the entire Azure Sentinel platform. And then out of the box, Azure Sentinel provides you 90 days of data retention for free. So that's the pros. Now let's move over to the cons. So data is charged uh, based on ingestion per gigabyte. So if you have a chatty environment, leaving your data in Azure Sentinel for long periods of time will be extremely costly. And the maximum data retention is currently only two years. In some parts of the world and certain industries, there are regulations that organizations must adhere and comply to, which require data retention to be up to seven years or longer. So the current challenge here is that the max data retention for log analytics workspace is two years. So this first option is obviously the most expensive um, and really depending on your regulatory compliance needs, if you need that data in Sentinel to be actively available and searchable for a period of time, this may be three to six months. Just remember that to always factor in your cost analysis when using this method. So maybe run Sentinel for a couple of months so you can get that real life data ingestion and do a rough calculation on, hey, this is gonna cost me X every month before we can transition that to archival storage. That being said, security data stored in Sentinel might lose some of its value after a few months and SOC users might not need to access it as frequently as newer data, but still they might need to access it for some sporadic investigations or auditing purposes, but always remained uh, always remain mindful of the retention costs in Sentinel. Next, we have Azure Data Explorer. So Azure Data Explorer is big data analytics platform that is highly optimized for log and data analytics. So Azure Data Explorer, or ADX in short, uses the same custo query language, KQL, uh, which makes it a great, in fact, fantastic alternative for Azure Sentinel data storage. So using ADX for your data storage enables you to run cross-platform queries, visualize data across both Azure Data Explorer and Azure Sentinel. So let's firstly look at the pros. So ADX provides long-term retention up to 100 years. You can easily reuse the same KQL queries. ADX is perfect for extended threat hunting, compliance and trend analysis capabilities. If you only need to access specific tables occasionally, uh, such as for periodic investigations or auditing, then you may consider that retaining your data in Sentinel is no longer uh, cost effective. So let's now have a look at the cons. Doesn't currently support custom tables as of May 2021. So 
This includes uh, third party firewalls or any custom data sources that use the underscore CL for custom log source. So cost is based on compute and storage charges, but this will have to be refactored into exactly how much data is going to be stored and how much data is going to be processed in Azure Data Explorer. Now, there are some things to also consider when using ADX. So these are kind of like design considerations, if you will. So the first one is cluster size and SKU. So plan carefully for the number of nodes and the VM SKU in your cluster. So these factors will determine the amount of processing power and the size of your hot cache SSD and memory. And the bigger the cache, the more data you'll be able to query at a high performance. So the hot and cold cache. So ADX provides control over the data tables that are in the hot cache and returns the data faster. If you have large amounts of data in your Data Explorer cluster, you may want to break down those tables by month so that you have greater granularity on the data that you present in the hot cache. Retention. In ADX, you can configure when data is removed from a database or an individual table, which is also an important part of limiting storage costs. And security. So several ADX Explorer settings can help you protect your data, such as identity management, encryption, and so on. Specifically for role-based access control, or RBAC, a great feature about ADX is it can be configured to restrict access to databases, tables, or even rows within a table. Now, I really think this is something that, you know, a feature should be put into Azure Sentinel as well. So, hey, Microsoft, take note. This is a good feature. Let's roll that into Sentinel. So this option is, this, this second option is, is quite popular. The easeability and straightforwardness of this gives the customers full benefit of using the full threat hunting, etc., without re-architecting all of your queries. That being said, sometimes this can cost quite a bit more, but not as much as it would be if the data sat in Sentinel. So always be wary on the costings with Azure Data Explorer with you know how much data you've got, how much data is being processed, etc. Now, number three, as you can see from the icon there, it's Azure Blob Storage. So Blob Storage is Microsoft's object storage solution for Azure. So Blob Storage is optimized for storing massive amounts of unstructured data. So the unstructured data is data that doesn't adhere to any particular data model or definition, such as text or binary data. So the pros, very simple storage solution. It's extremely low cost for archival storage. You have a 400 year retention period, 400 years, that's crazy. It's perfect for compliance auditing. Okay, now look at, let's look at the cons. You can't reuse KQL queries. So your KQL queries that are currently set up, you cannot reuse them. And it's extremely difficult to search for specific data properties. So the Sentinel data that will reside in the blob storage will be in a JSON file, p1.th.json, I think, um, which will reside in multiple folders based on hourly, daily, weekly, etc., which makes it very difficult when trying to search for properties or trends, etc. Now, I have to say that Blob Storage is among the favorite with a lot of my customers I've dealt with, but as I explained to all of them, if your organization was compromised and you need to go back through your data to see how they got in or what process was leveraged, and maybe it was longer than six months, 12 months, etc., then searching for that information in a Blob Storage account can be very tedious, but also to try and correlate that past data with present data to source any form of trend analysis, again, is going to be very tricky and very cumbersome. So, to summarise, you can leverage any one of the three options. Azure Sentinel, two years data retention. ADX, or Azure Data Explorer, 100 years data retention. Azure Blob Storage, 400 years data retention. 
I hope this video helps you in deciding which storage solution meets your retention needs for Azure Sentinel. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, well, that's just fine. Please subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your nan. Cheers.